How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of My Fishing Vlogs, episode 25. Today we're out here at Lake Sonoma. It's a little different. We're not at the California Delta today. We're not gonna be fishing grass, not gonna be flipping, punching, not gonna be frogging or anything like that. We're gonna be over here probably dragging some jigs, throwing a jerk bait, some drop shots, you know, just targeting these big Northern California smallmouth. Something I haven't done in a long time, but I'm very excited to do. And, uh, and yeah, man, I just can't wait to get out there. So come on. guys one thing i don't really use that often guys is my charts like i i never use the charts which i feel like i really should right outside the boat dock in the marina early in the morning i feel like that's where a lot of people get these crazy shots i feel like it's not as pressured here because everybody's trying to get out the marina instead of fishing right at the marina and we're at 25 feet of water. What did the chart say? Yeah, this lake is pretty deep. About 100, 100 feet in the middle. And right in the side, it's like 30 right here. We're at this point and it's about 30, 30 feet. So you really got to find those areas that get a little shallower. If not, we're going to be fishing deep today. The one thing I want to get better at, guys, before I start tournament fishing next year is using these charts. Damien Tao, he uses these charts. I see it all the time. Even Greg, they use these charts too. I think it helps them pick out areas of lake to fish. And uh, I never use, I never used them. You know, I only got a fish finder a couple months ago, you know, like four months ago. So I really just use the traditional sonar. I don't really use these charts, but looking at it, there's a few points that really stick out. This is one of them. Deep points. There's actually like some coves and stuff I go into. Let's fish this point for a little bit. Wow, look at this, guys. This is this a different look, ain't it? Let's see if I can put together some here. Or am I just a Delta fisherman? Ability is a little low. I did see a fish jump here earlier, so that's why I'm throwing a top water. Ooh, a little big fish at the surface right here. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, guys. Why did I set the hook? I completely missed it, too. That's one way to start the morning. One thing I, I usually don't do is follow up and fish miss the top water. I usually throw the top water back in there, but I'm gonna see if I can get this one. This one with a drop shot. Oh man, that was a nasty blow up. Dude, that was. Oh. It was like five minutes into the day.
kind of don't like it back here guys so i'm gonna make a move over to the main lake see if i can fish a main lake point or just little areas that feel are a little better i feel like it's a little dead back here may pluck like one or two off but we're not gonna find like a school of them so that's what i'm gonna look for all right guys i think i found one area in the lake where there's a point and it doesn't completely drop off to something super steep it actually goes from like 4 to 18 to like 40s then it drops back down there's like a big flat right here in the middle which is different because everywhere else in the lake there's there's just it's just like a deep deep drop off so that might be a good area where fish are holding and that's where i'm gonna blast over to on the other side of the marina which is pretty cool Hundred percent, guys. Hundred percent bite. Dang. Wow. First cast of the spot that I found on the charts. Dang. It's kind of a walk just to get my sunglasses. Look, you regretting it right now. It's all good. It's a little bit of a workout and a hat. And a hat too. So, kind of worth it. Sunglasses and hat. Sunglasses. There you go. Now we're ready. All right, guys. Some of my jerk bait heat. You guys don't get to see these that often, but I'm bringing it out today. You know, fishing the lake with small mouth, large mouth. I'll bring out some more natural looking ones. Uh, I think there you go to is this baby trout. I do have the junior too, but I think the regular size. The regular size would be oh little baby bass, look at that. A little baby one chase it. Where are the bigger ones? Look at that. No way, guys. Did you guys see that? That was a bluegill, guys. I caught a bluegill on a bluegill DT10. No way. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. There you go. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Yup, that's a good one. Yup, that's a good one. That's a giant, guys. That's a giant. That's a giant. Look at this bass. Look at this bass, guys. Choked it. Absolute chokage. <sighs> that is fun right there. Choked the jig. Oh. Get a good picture of him. That's a long one, guys. It's a real long one. That is an 18-inch 18 18 fish. That is a beautiful, beautiful largemouth bass. That was a 
was a good one. And there's so many bluegill right under us, guys. Look at this. Look at that. There's tons of fish. Here we go to this side. Look at that. If I want bluegill, I know where I'm coming. It might be crappy. Oh, look. No, they're right here. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Hey, no skunk. A good one, too. Oh, no. Something it had it. Right Guys, we might... We might have a little school right here. Oh. Some followers here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that one's that one's keeper. Yeah, I think that's a hose going into the water. It's probably pumping that water up to like a tank or something and then he goes over the mountains and releases it There you go guys, decent one. Uh. There you go guys, decent one. That's pretty good. I think it's a smallie. Yeah, I think it's a smallie. Yes sir, got me a small jaw. Look at this beautiful smallmouth, guys. You don't catch them that often. Got them on that Kitek, that Kitek jig, right here in the mouth. Damn, check that out. Look at this. Yeah, just look at the patterns on them. You can tell just brown, lime green. Small mouth are different. They just fight so hard. And you're so good. Oh, there's a little stretch.
other guy. I knew there was fish here, man. They just don't want anything moving. I think my back camera died. Oh well. Just fish it with the front, I guess. There you go, another one. Guy. That's probably what was biting one pole earlier. All these little ones. A large mouth right here. I knew there was fish here. Yep. Well, this did the trick right by the boat launch. Caught two over here. Got a small mouth over at the main leg at a point. And I feel like I can get one or two more from this little area. <sighs> Actually, I knew better. Flip a Kitek into these bushes. Oh no, dude! That was that was a bite for sure. He hit it on the way down. On the way down again. There goes another. Right on the side of it. Not a bad one. I mean. I don't think he's a keeper, but it's not tiny, tiny. Fun to catch, anyway. That's the kite take jig, baby. That's the HC. Even when I said it's not hot today, it's still hot today, y'all. That is going to be it for this one guys. I know this is a little longer than usual so I really appreciate it if you guys stuck around and watch this entire thing. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always I'll catch you next time.